morning you guys welcome back to another vlog i am getting a good start on to my sunday i just woke up washed my face put on deodorant brushed my teeth got dressed sort of into like workout gear and i'm gonna go on a little walk i think i'm gonna bring bella with me i think steven's gonna come too i should grab an rx bar though because i don't have time to make a protein shake it's supposed to be overcast for another like hour ish and i would like to get this walk in before the sun comes blaring out And showered. Steven and I just watched an episode of The Office while we just chilled and relaxed a little bit after our walk and now he's outside working on the pool again. And I actually have probably like two hours of computer work I need to get done today. We've got a lot on our to-do list for today. Hopefully we can make this Sunday productive and check everything off. We're gonna be cleaning the house. We're gonna be organizing some stuff. What else do we have to do? Steven's gonna be doing some laundry. I have a lot of clothes to go through in the filming room. I filmed two videos now back to back where I did not clean up in between and I definitely need to make that a priority and actually get that room under control before before it gets like overwhelming because we're also filming another video tonight so it would be great to have a nice clean filming room before that okay so work things I need to do right now let me pull up my to-do list first thing I just need to go through my email I have quite a few emails I need to respond to that'll probably take me 45 minutes I need to review and send notes for Tuesday's video which is recreating Tana Mojo's Instagram photos. I need to review and send notes on a vlog that my editor sent back to me. I need to, I need to schedule tomorrow's vlog. And then on this camera, on this memory card, I still have yesterday, or I guess we didn't vlog yesterday, Friday's vlog footage. So I need to organize that and put that all onto my computer. Also, I took some clips on Steven's phone while we were walking today because my phone died. So I need to make sure that I get those off of his phone so that you guys can see that in this vlog that you already saw that part of. Also, I'm wearing my little jaw shirt today. This is like, I don't know what kind of cotton they used in this shirt, but like it is the softest t-shirt I own. It just feels like worn in and, and just so soft and comfy. I love it. And then I'm actually wearing like real pants today that aren't sweats or leggings. I'm wearing, you know what? I'll just go show you guys in the mirror. So this is the current state of my filming room. Nice. <laughs> Kinda embarrassing how messy I let this get, but you know what? It is what it is. That's my real life. Anyways, outfit. Um, I'm just wearing the Jaws shirt and then these like paper bag waist shorts from Hollister that are my current favorite. They're really loose fitting in the thigh, which I love. And the actual denim is like a very lightweight, kind of soft denim. It's not super like starchy or, or stiff. And so it just makes them super, super comfy. And I've been wearing them pretty much, I would say, at least like two or three days a week at this point. They're so comfy and they actually look like a real outfit, unlike when I wear my comfy sweats. So outfit of the day, messy office that we will conquer later time to go sit back at my desk and knock these computer tasks out let's do it all right computer tasks done really? yeah i just had a pbj so i'm fueled nice i was working in the bedroom I'm trying to get curtains going but i keep running into issues the curtains were uh, not long enough oh no I, I was like measuring the width and i didn't like the measure height and then i'm off by like two feet so oh. That's fun. So how do we fix? Get, gotta, new like, yeah, gotta get new curtains. Yeah, gotta get new curtains. So, anyways, I was uh, running around. I did some dishes, and now I'm gonna take a little break, and then uh, we'll kind of see what we're getting back to. Cool. I am gonna go into cleaning mode because I see Please. the house. I wouldn't even say cleaning mode. Tidying mode because for we've now lived here for almost three months, and we've up to this point done a pretty good job. Yeah. We've up to this point done a pretty good job of keeping things decluttered, but the past two weeks I really let that slip. Like there's piles here. My desk has stuff all over it. Yeah. The like we're just, we're starting to make, room. the filming room is a whole nother thing I just showed. But I wanna first go around the house, 
and just declutter. Like I, I want to get pick up your water bottle, pick up my shoes, like just declutter everything. What a brave soul. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that and then I will conquer my filming room. Sounds good. While you work really hard on that, I'm gonna get a bubbly and then go play some games for like an hour. Rock on. Before we start filming tonight. Like this blanket has been hanging over the banister for three days now. Maybe even four days. Stephen put it in the dryer and it just needed a little bit of extra drying time. So he hung it over the banister. I feel like this is an encapsulation of our whole house right now where it's like, it would take me five seconds to fold up this blanket and put it away, but we just haven't yet. So today is doing all of those things and cleaning and tidying, but let's, let, let's get into, uh, let's get into the tidying montage. <laughs> Look at the path of destruction that Bella leaves of just taking all of her toys out and spreading them across the room. We have a little basket here where we keep all of her toys and she's so cute. She'll literally go in and like dig through to find the exact one she wants. And as adorable as it is, uh, it does leave a little bit of a clutter. Also, the top of our banister, so cluttered for absolutely no reason. None of this stuff needs to be out here. My cleaning, I was making really good progress tidying up all the little nooks and crannies and you know, just getting everything back to the way it's supposed to be. And then I went to get the dogs a treat and I knocked over their like glass treat drawer and I just, it shattered. I have glass everywhere. So the glass is actually at the bottom? Yeah, there, it didn't shatter as much as I originally thought, but it's definitely broken. We need to toss this. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna take most of these out. I'm gonna select the bottom portion where there might still be glass and toss those. I just say it's not worth it. So I'm gonna toss these. Okay. I'm gonna toss the whole thing. Yeah. Dang it, I like that treat jar. Now I need to get a new one. Ooh. While we swept the floor, I'm gonna like go through with a vacuum just to make sure there's no leftover glass, but it was one of those things where it like fell in slow motion. Like I saw it. Yeah, I like saw it tipping over and I was like reaching for it and it was just out of my grip. I'm risking my hand in case there's sharp glass, but I'd rather it be me than them. <laughs> What a good dog parent Just you are. Just in case every single piece will get felt up. No chihuahua getting glass today. And the dogs I put outside while I did that. No, they didn't get their treat yet. <laughs> but you guys like sunbathing, huh? How was your video gaming? Are you done or are you still? Yeah, it was a good hour break. I see you did some dishes here. Good work. Yeah, oh, I see you brought some glasses. Today. I did, I brought all, I had literally like six or seven cups up at my desk. <laughs> if you guys missed the last vlog, Stephen and I did a competition on our Apple Watch and I won, so he has to do the dishes for a week, so. That's one thing that's not on my plate for this cleaning day. Sad day for Steve. <laughs> Sad week for Steve. So it is 4.30 now, and I feel like we've had a really productive Sunday, but our paths haven't overlapped very much. What have you been up to? Whew. I just set up all some new landscape lighting. Nice. I bought like a big bundle of uh, solar spotlights and path lights. Ooh. So uh, just about to set up like our automatic garage opener, but then you came home. Oh. Okay, cool. All right, well, yes, I actually got in the car today, which is a weird departure from normalcy. And I realized um, my the clock in my car is still set to daylight savings time. <laughs> Which changed like over a month ago, but I, I have no reason to use my car right now. But we decided to get takeout today for dinner. We got some sushi here, which is kind of like a special thing. I feel like, you know, since we're at home, we're quarantined. We've been meal planning a lot and meal prepping and like we have our groceries all planned out. And we decided, you know what? We've been productive today. We're working hard. Let's make it special and let, let's get some sushi. So I've got an avocado roll. I've got edamame. Steven has, I think like a chicken thing. All right. Well, we're gonna eat. I'm excited to yeah. have food that I didn't make. That's exciting. Or very, that you didn't make. I'm very patiently waiting to wash my hands. Okay, sorry. Go <laughs> wash your hands. I'll set up the food and we'll eat. All right, our early four o'clock dinner was good. I grabbed some cleaner. I'm gonna go clean the bathroom now. Steven is uh, in oh, full food coma mode. I can't do anything. The day is over. What do you mean the day is over? Rest in peace, Steve. <laughs> so while uh, you work hard and clean, I'm gonna nap. Well, you still got a couple things on your to-do uh, list, good I sir. Easy peasy. What were the things you said you'd do? You said you'd clean the toilets. 
Toilets, just light kind of, vacuuming, yeah, yeah, getting like little clusters. And then um, I do want to tidy my office, but. Did you end up doing your laundry, like you said you were? Ooh, I moved it downstairs, so halfway done. <laughs> Progress. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go clean. And Bruiser are going to cuddle in that. Wait, also, one thing I need to address. You were finally invested in the episode of Gossip Girl that we watched. I don't want to admit anything. <laughs> I wasn't invested, I was just rather pissed at the trashiness of the ladies. <laughs> Steven, Lily. yeah, Steven does not like that Lily is doing Rufus dirty in season three. We don't know what's happening yet. She's just in the room with the other guy. And he doesn't like that Serena is doing Nate Archibald dirty. Well, Serena's just a poor innocent girl making mistakes. <laughs> but Lily's being a jerk. <laughs> All right, nap time. This is too much. Love you. Bye. Well, our day took a bit of a turn. <laughs> you want to tell them what happened? We went in the pool for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so we were, we were, we had a little bit of extra time after dinner, after cleaning the bathrooms and stuff, but before we were going to film. And we were outside throwing the tennis ball around because we've, we've had this tennis racket and this tennis ball out for like, I guess like four or five days since we filmed the Tana Mojo video. And so it's become like our new pastime to just hit around this tennis ball with a racket. So we're at her doing that and we decided to take a quick dip in the pool and within about, what would you say, a minute and a half? I forgot that I wasn't supposed to get my hair wet because we were filming and when we were playing catch, I just dove for a ball, got soaking wet because I just can't help but be competitive. And well, so we decided we we're gonna push filming till tomorrow and just enjoy an evening in the mm -hmm. pool together. And then Bella started eating a lizard. Oh my. And it was a disaster. I was so angry. <laughs> Steven's in the side yard. Okay. Well, I was thinking of going back in the jacuzzi. No, it's already off. Well, is it still kind of warm? It'd be nice if we had a jacuzzi. Go feel it. Oh, our spa. Excuse me. Also, the lighting is way better this way. I don't know why I was vlogging the other way. But um, we had a really nice time just enjoying the outdoors and the weather is so nice. And now that the pool's fixed because it had been broken for like two weeks, I feel like I just really wanted to take advantage of it and may not have been the evening we planned. But you know what? It was a great evening nonetheless. And I'm really glad that we went in the pool because that was super, super fun. I feel like I could sit out here for hours, especially since we decided we're going to push filming till tomorrow. Okay, I just hopped out. Out of the shower and I had to wash my hair for a second time today because I didn't want the chlorine to like sit on it but Stephen and I were just cuddling and laying down in bed and I realized we never finished telling the story of Bella eating a lizard so if I didn't finish that you guys would just be like Bella ate a lizard well, also let's quickly clarify she did not eat a lizard she had one in her mouth <laughs> so what happened was Stephen was in the side yard I was by the pool all of a sudden I hear him yell oh my gosh Bella no Bella no Bella drop it so I immediately think she's eating something, which I was correct, but I didn't want to go over there and see because I don't want to see that. So I'm just yelling from the other side, like, what's going on? What does she have? So she was in the strawberry bushes and I saw her like scratching around and I was like, oh, is she gonna eat a strawberry? That'd be kind of funny. So I'm like watching her very closely and I'm like, I'm like I see her kind of trying to go between some, get out of here, lizard breath. <laughs> I see her trying to go between these like bushes. So then I like help her push, push them aside. Uh-huh, like this? Exactly. <laughs> lizard breath. I don't want your lizard breath. <laughs> um, and then I see her like gently go down and like pick something up and start walking away. Like just that look of uh oh. And then I see a little lizard. And then she drops it and it doesn't move. And then I'm like, ooh, ah, ah. And then I start walking away and then she goes and picks it up again. And then that's when you're like, make sure she fits it out. Well, I wanted to save the lizard, which we did. The lizard lived. Its tail, it did lose its tail, but. The lizard survived. I was very upset though. And like, Bruiser didn't, or Bruiser, Bella didn't eat the tail. The lizard just ditched the tail in an attempt to distract Bella. I feel like Bella, you know, if we were gonna do like the dance mom's pyramid of our family, Bella just earned herself the lowest place by trying to eat a lizard. Bella, I'm sorry, you are now at the bottom of the pyramid. It's okay, Bella. <laughs> You're just a natural born hunter and you can't help it. I've seen her chase birds and lizards and stuff, but I've never seen her catch anything. There's a lot of lizards to be got here, so. Yeah, at our old, this this area is a lot more wild than the well, old area we lived. Well, not even that, it's the hillside. We, we live, live right next giant, to a hillside. Yeah, a little wilderness, and so all I've, sorts of spooky things. I've noticed Bella chasing more wildlife, you know, birds, lizards, squirrels. I Which? am now very concerned that she is able to catch them. Yeah, it's also important. Where there's little critters, there's bigger critters. That's so true. You just gotta be careful. <sighs> All right, Bella, you've been demoted to the bottom of the pyramid. Steven, your second place. 
And at the top, as usual, is Maddie. Have you seen those TikToks? No, I don't watch. People, people. Wait, I don't watch lame TikToks. Oh please, you're t you used to love Dance Moms. Mm, yeah. There's all this TikTok trend where people will like rank their family in a pyramid, like on Dance Moms, and then they'll be like, at, and at the top, as usual, is Maddie. <laughs> and it's just Maddie from Dance Moms. <laughs> Anyways, let's uh, let's get to our movie. Okay. All right, I need to go put moisturizer on because my skin is dry. Anyways, let's go. All right, let's do it. So we're having a little bit of family cuddle time right now. Bella is asleep on the left next to me. Bruiser, she, sometimes she's a big cuddler, sometimes she's not. She literally just came up, plopped right in between <laughs> Steven and I, laid on her back and put her little paws up. How long has she been like this? Like 10 minutes? I don't know. Maybe more? Maybe more. Mm -hmm. I love yep. this little girl. Well, we've had a great little, I, guess, I would call it an impromptu chill date night because we expected to, tonight to be more like filming and, and mm -hmm. doing more tidying. And uh, instead we went in the pool and now we're watching Gossip Girl. <laughs> yeah, we got the fireplace going, the whole shebang. Yeah. This this has been such a great night though. I feel like I needed a night like yeah, this. Good. I'm really enjoying it. Anyways, I think that's all we're doing for the day. Yeah. We can go ahead and end it there. All right. We'll see you guys in the next vlog. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.